What's happening, everyone? Today we're in Gotha, Florida at the Woodlawn Cemetery. We're here to visit the grave of Bob Ross. Bob Ross was born in Daytona Beach and he grew up in Orlando. He was an animal lover and he loved bringing in animals into his home and caring for them. So an interesting fact that I actually didn't know until recently, Bob Ross became a master sergeant in the Air Force. So he would actually order people to make their beds and scream at them if they were late for work. But he didn't like doing that. And it was this part of his life that made him make a promise to himself that when he would leave the military, he wouldn't raise his voice again. So this is kind of the reason why every time we watched The Joy of Painting, that his voice was so calm. Bob Ross became interested in painting while he was still stationed in Alaska. This is where he discovered the TV show called The Magic of Oil Painting. The guy on the show, his name was Bill Alexander. This guy used a, a certain type of painting technique, a style, if you will, um, that was called wet on wet. And this allows you to create a painting within minutes because you don't have to wait for certain parts of the painting to dry before you can paint again. Bob Ross, he liked the style and he ended up mastering the technique and began painting the Alaskan landscapes. And shortly thereafter, Bob Ross created his, his own show, The Joy of Painting. He was definitely known for his hair, but he really didn't like his hair. And the reason that he kept it the whole time was because it became part of the logo, the brand of his company. And his show, I believe ran from 1983 until 93 or 94, I believe. And the reruns still continue to this day they're broadcasted over in a few countries. What I really loved about Bob Ross was that he gave, he was motivational. He was really motivational for people that wanted to be painters or um, any type of drawing sketcher because a lot of people as you know they're not just born with the talent of being able to draw something up and it looking the way that they want it to look but Bob Ross gave those people the motivation and the hope
and he was he was only 52 years old when he died from lymphoma related complications and he died on the 4th of July If you're familiar with with ASMR, a lot of people say that Bob Ross pioneered it. Thank you for the memories, Mr. Ross. It's time to hit the road. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.